In this tutorial, we're going to look at toolpath saving. This is the final step of the process where we take toolpaths and save them out to a file format that is compatible with your machine. In order to demonstrate how toolpath saving works, we're going to open up an existing file. And then let's go over to the toolpaths tab to see the toolpaths that we have. We've got five toolpaths. We've got a pocket toolpath, a text profile toolpath, a hatched profile toolpath, a drilling toolpath, and finally a profile cutout. If we open up the preview form and preview all the toolpaths, we will see the expected output. And whenever we open up an old file like this, it's always worth previewing the toolpaths before saving, just to re-familiarize ourselves with the job. Now that we are happy with our toolpaths, we'll go to the toolpath saving form. So we'll close the preview toolpaths form and click on this icon here. The toolpath saving form has three options at the top. And these control the toolpaths to be saved and the naming of those toolpaths. But the most important option on the form is the post processor choice down here. The correct choice for this option will depend a lot on the control software of your machine and you just click and scroll to select. We're going to use a G-code inch post processor. So I'm going to press the G key on the keyboard and that will automatically scroll to the post, process post processors that begin with a G. And click to select. To save a single toolpath, we just select the toolpath and then we hit save toolpaths. That will open up a file save dialog and then I can rename. So here I'm going to put clearance pocket and hit save and that will save out the file that we will then take to the machine and run on our machine. Whenever we come to save out a toolpath the location of the file save dialog depends largely on the file dialog default option, which can be found by going into edit and then options and then just scrolling down to this file dialog default option here. If this option is set to global, then the location will be the last used location within the software. If the option is set to operation, then it will use the last used location for saving toolpaths. And if the option is set to job, then it will use the directory containing the job. So in this case, the directory containing this widget 24 by 24 toolpath file. I'm going to turn this back to operation and hit OK. If we want to save multiple toolpaths out at once, then we need to use this output all visible toolpaths to one file option. So I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to select the four remaining toolpaths. And we notice now that we have this error here in the toolpaths to be saved box. And this error says that the visible toolpaths contain different tools and that the post processor selected does not support tool changing. So my machine doesn't have an automatic tool changer. So for now, I'm just going to turn off these drill and profile cutout toolpaths and just only select the tools using the same VBit tool and hit save toolpaths. And again, I could change the name, but I'm just going to hit save. If, however, we did have a tool changer, for example, if I come and select this G code ATC inch and select my remaining toolpaths, then you see that we now get a different error. It's no longer warning us that we have different tools, but it is providing us with a different warning. And it says the toolpaths, text profile and drill both use tool number one, but the geometry of the tools is different. So it's informing us that we have two tools using the same tool number. The tool changer needs to be able to distinguish between all the tools. And so the tool number must be distinct. In order to correct this, 
we'd have to go to our tool changer, verify which tool was going to be in what position, and then update the tool numbers accordingly. So what I'm going to do now is just set the tool number to be 2 on this drill and profile cutout tools. So just come into the toolpath, edit, set the tool number to be 2, recalculate, do the same with the profile cutout, recalculate, come back. I'm going to reselect the ATC, G code ATC inch post processor. And now you see we've got no errors. I'm going to hit save toolpaths and save out the four toolpaths to a single file. The um, other two options on the form are to output tile toolpaths. And this is for when we're doing toolpath tiling and it's covered in the toolpath tiling videos. And the final option is to add the side to the toolpath name. And this will just add the toolpath name onto the front, sorry, the toolpath side onto the front of the toolpath name when saving. And this can make it easier to distinguish between the top and bottom toolpaths on a double-sided job. Since this is a single-sided job, then this option appears grayed out. And um, that concludes our video on toolpath saving.